Hey guys, I'm Retro Nemo, and today we're breaking down yet another episode of The Amazing World of Gumball. This time we're looking at Season 6, Episode 2, The Lady. This episode centered around Gumball and Darwin discovering that their dad was up to some suspicious stuff. Upon further inspection, they find out Richard is actually leading a double life as a lady named Samantha. Ignorant to it all, Gumball and Darwin think that Richard is actually having an affair. When they confront him, Richard decides to give up the ruse of his old lady life. He goes to the other old women to reveal himself, but it turns out all of the other old women are actually secretly middle-aged men too, living double lives. They all decide that the best thing to do is just to ignore the problem and stay old ladies forever, which is, you know, just a, just a great ending for everybody. This episode was hilarious and fresh, even still in the show's sixth season. And like a typical Go Ball episode, this one was packed to the brim with secrets and Easter eggs and references. It's just all great. So let's take a look at some of those today. Hopefully there's some you haven't noticed yet. The teachers all have a drug-like trip in the beginning of the episode, thanks to candles they originally thought were candies brought by the school's counselor, Mr. Small. The gag makes so much sense as Mr. Smalls is the very definition of a hippie type person. He was high and is overall a calm dude. And throughout history, hippies were known to be into all sorts of different types of drugs, some of them psychedelic. Actually, are we, are we sure those were candles? This one's kind of small, but the face that Gumbo makes when they're sent home early looks extremely similar to the Grumpy Cat meme that went viral all those years ago. Grumpy Cat has since become a pop culture meme icon and a popular brand with his own movie and merchandise, so a quick little homage to him wouldn't be that far-fetched. Get it? Far-fetched? Wait, wait, is that like a dog thing or? Throughout the episode, there's many ads for the common gumball food chain, Joyful Burger. This chain has had many roles in the show throughout its run. The family even tried to sell themselves to it in the episode The Money. The girls Richard, or should I say Samantha, is friends with are a direct parody of the popular NBC show The Golden Girls, with all of them seeming to slightly resemble each character, the most prominent being famous female actress Betty White. The show itself ended in 1992, but continues to have a huge following today and a spot in sitcom history. I guess if Richard was going to hang out with some old women, he'd at least pick the coolest ones. The crew's sitcom origins also explain the laugh track and cheesy jokes and overall sitcomish behavior they display throughout the entire episode. The whole thing is just one big reference. Angela herself, himself, was actually voiced by the YouTuber Luke McQuillan. McQuillan is known on his channel for his impressions and covers and lent his voice for that character for the episode. I guess Gumball went from making episodes about YouTube to getting YouTubers to do voices. You know, someone should tell them ab about the round table. The song that plays at the end of the episode, the whole sitcom theme song, is a pretty obvious parody of the Golden Girls theme song. Knowing the reference, that makes a lot of sense. But I can't help but wonder what would happen if Gumball took on Full House. That just needs to happen. Richard may have some explaining to do, as this is actually the fourth time he's dressed up as a woman in the series. The other instances were in the finale, the name, and the safety. Who knows how many more there'll be? No matter what, it seems like Richard could be hiding more secrets than it seems. Let's end on a quick animation error here to round things out. When Richard runs into the mall bathroom, his whiskers flat out disappear in that shot. Lost to the realm of animation errors where all disappearing frames go. Makes me sad. Well there you have it guys, those are just some of the things you missed in this episode of The Amazing World of Gumball. If there's anything we missed, feel free to let us know in the comments down below, we're only human. If you want more Roundtable, tweet to us at Roundtable Vids or me personally at it's Retro Nemo. If you like the video, give it a like and subscribe to the Roundtable for more great cartoon content. Really helps us out. As always, I'm Retro Nemo. This is a breakdown of Gumball, and I'll see you guys next time.